guys, welcome back to another MD Fish Tanks build video. So over my shoulder there, you can see Timmy, my turtle's tank. Timmy! He's a musk turtle, um, and I set up his tank there about two months ago. It's a very simple design, and it served this purpose really well, which was to be able to easily clean and maintain it. But I think we can do better than that. It's good to show setups that are simple, but it's also good to show you know, our skills and what we can do. So I want to do a really cool aquatorium style uh, above, that means like above water and below water, planted plants everywhere, the lot. Let's just go for it and make it absolutely special. So yeah, you can see, oh, here he comes. He's so cool, isn't he? Yeah, like I say, he's a musk turtle, so they stay nice and small. Um, he has grown like three times the size of when I first bought him. So for sense of scale, like, there's my finger. So he's nice and sweet. he thinks I'm gonna feed him. Sorry, buddy, we're gonna give you a new enclosure. Enclosure, is that the right word? Tank, I don't know. Anyway, nice and simple design, like I said, and it serves its purpose as well. It's early in the morning, so his uh, UV light isn't on at the moment. It only comes on for certain times of the day. I'm holding his food, that's why he's going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna have to get these stones out, get the sand out, the plants, because we want a clean slate to start from. It's gonna be quite a complicated build, um, but it should look great. I'm also gonna need something temporary to put Timmy in, and I'm gonna do the same as what I did before, just a small little uh, tank I've got with a rock in. He'll be absolutely fine for a few days or so, or ha however long it takes, uh, regular water changes and things like that. Because remember, turtles don't actually breathe um, underwater, they just, they breathe out of water, but they require water to eat their uh, food, and they will poo in it as well, so re regular water changes are needed. Right, so we've got our tank sorted, we've got our light sorted. If you're wondering about the stand, I made this. Um, yes, that is absolutely fine before you'll freak out. I've had this full of water for well over a year. Uh, it's been, it's, it doesn't make it, it's perfectly flat, you see. So those three points of contact on a glass are fully supporting everything. We're all good, do not worry. Now to build up our retaining wall, there's multiple ways of doing this. Some people choose to use like foam and then they make the shape out of foam, like a false background or a false bottom and then stick rocks all over it that's one way of doing it i like to do it a little bit differently i like to use all natural stuff to build it and then just use the odd little bit of glue just to secure stuff when needed so that's what i'm going to do for this one first of all i need to take you into my other studio where i've got all my supplies so here we go this is the supply section we've got loads and loads of things to choose from but i think i'm going to be going with this bog wood i think it's going to look wicked it's going to give that sort of swampy look and then for rocks We've got lots to choose from. I want something dark. So the black lava rock that you can see there is a bit too dark, but I do like these stones that I collected recently. So I want to use quite a lot of those. And then I can find a gravel that's like similar to fill in the gaps. Click subscribe. Right, so there's our first layer in, and you could see there, I took out those two rocks in there and there. I just felt it was too sort of, I don't know, wall-y? <laughs> it, look, it looks better with gaps, doesn't it? It looks much more natural. So if we come around to the side, you can see there's a big gap behind, and on the top there, look, you can see big gap behind there. We need to fill those areas in, otherwise our turtle's just gonna get trapped or waste is just gonna get caught in those areas. And to do that, I've got this. Yeah, so I managed to find this stuff at my local garden centre. It's very dirty, so it needs a quick wash, and then we can see the colour. I think it's going to be like a proper grey, but <laughs> it's not looking great at the moment, but it will do, it will.
there we go layer one so you can see there why i've done what i've done big open foreground and that'll actually taper back as we go higher so there'll be tons of swim room for little timmy remember he's a tiny little turtle he doesn't need a huge amount of sp swim space and they don't swim that much anyway to be honest so yeah look, all the areas are closed off all the way around and the reason we've left it like that is now we can build the second layer up putting some rocks in so that they don't have to balance on anything because they've got a, a platform to sit on it's a lot safer a lot more secure and a lot more sort of long term um, as everything grows in Okay, that's enough height. That's looking pretty cool, isn't it? It's like really impactful, I think. I might cover up this area here with some more rocks. I'm not sure yet. But I bought from the shop some of these little cardboard cup things. And what I want to do is place them <laughs> back there, but neatly put in. I'll show you. Let me show you. Right, there you go. I put three in there. I might not need three, but it's harder to put more in than to just take one out. So I've done three. And then I'll put some more on this side as well. And then if I want to later on, I can put some behind. I haven't even told you what they are, have I? <laughs> so basically, I'm going to be able to put aqua soil in these or even normal soil, to be honest, whatever some ferns or something like that come in. Terrestrial ferns we're talking, ones that will grow out of the water and they can just sit in there nicely. And I'll make sure that the water is able to transfer into the soil that's in there using the mosses as a wick from when the water is flowing down the back because eventually we're going to have the filter outlet just trickling down the back there and it should be able to cover everything. It should be able to travel along the wood. It will travel along the moss that we're gonna have on it, oh, it should look great. There we go, we're all set up. So yeah, this does look pretty pants at the moment, but I wanna get our uh, decorative sand or the, the area at the bottom all filled in now, and then put the water in and start running the filter so we, we know where the water's gonna be going and that could determine where we're gonna plant. Oh yeah, I think that's a really naturalistic look. I've gone for like a fine sand and then a sort of medium, I suppose medium gravel. Yeah, so basically those bits are too big for Timmy to swallow. And then the sand, if he does swallow that, that's fine, that'll pass through him. So we're all good. Okay, now to fit the filter. Filter-wise, I'm using an external canister filter. It's got the heater built in, which is awesome because it means I don't have to see that in the tank. Okay, we are up and running. It looks an absolute mess at the moment, but we've got filtration. So if you look there, the spray bar is getting this bit of cardboard wet, which is good. They're going to get these all wet, which will be perfect for the soil that's going in them. I've got the same on this side. Oh, there we go. I've got the same on this side and I've ripped up some more um, of the cardboard to act as a wick to transport it over to this one. This one will get wet as well then, and everything will have water. That's the key, you see. You need all the stuff above to have some form of water, even if it's just a little bit. The, the trickle down the wood there is ideal. It means we can put mosses all the way up it, actually, and it should look fantastic. Uh, yeah, excited. Right, guys, that's the hardscape complete. In the next video, I'm gonna be turning this thing into an awesome forest turtle paradise thingy. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit the like button. I will see you on the next one.